get off the train. I'm at Bath. I've parked my car in Aberystwyth. I've caught the train to Bath. And I'm going to do the cliff walk from Bath back to Aberystwyth. There's going to be a lot to see on the way. That's where we're going up there along the front and then onto the cliffs. So say there's uh, it's about six and a half mile this walk, which is three to four hours, which means at my pace it's about five hours. So I should be in Aberystwyth about five o'clock, something like that, and get some tea in Aberystwyth. Um, it's not that easy once you get up the cliff. It's not a case of uh, it's not a case of just walking along the top. Uh, you, you drop down at least a couple of times to uh, different uh, beaches where there are things to see, like the Glacial Causeway. And uh, I think the total ascent is about 1,300 feet. So uh, keep me going for a few hours. It looks like it's going to be quite busy on the cliff walk. Those appear to be all walkers. I'm looking forward to it. It's a gorgeous day here. I'll take my coat off in a minute. The sea's like a mill pond. Look at that. I'm not there yet, but you can certainly see San Convalum, central picture. That stretches three miles. That hill there, just climbed down it once, discovered I've dropped my camcorder out of its case, had to go all the way back up there, so behind me. That's cost me about half an hour. Never mind, I got it back. So on we go. This way. San Gunvalen. It carved its way down here into the sea, and there it is. Bannock and Bellum.
it's a limestone kiln. So, we'll take a look at that. Go around the side. Oh. Rubbish tip for somebody, obviously. It's been well preserved. Obviously we pointed at some time. Oh, that's the limestone kiln that was used many years ago. Time for a bite to eat. Right on the causeway. For lunch. See that behind me? That's the causeway. I'm about halfway along. I'm having a walk on the causeway. I'm looking for... I'm looking for uh, fossils. It's dead centre. Oh. Up there, along the top of the cliffs, the round to the next. No fossils, not today. So we're going to go over the walk, past the kiln there, up towards that house where there's a hairy, scary dog that frightens the hell out of you, and then up there and back in our cliff walk. There he is. Hello. Hello. Only doing your job, aren't you? There he is. Is he actually on the loose now? Near the kiln. It can't be that bad. That's the top of the kiln we're looking at now. It's a beautiful rub coastline here. Just beautiful. And that is the northern end of Aberystwyth. But before that, we go down and hit Claddagh Bay, which is a seaside resort, and we'll have a walk through there. What's coming up next? Very close to the edge here on this path. Here's the path. Claddock Bay, We're on the last leg now, which uh, take about an hour. I'm going to take this next one, see that, up the track, and that. That's Claddock Bay where we just walked through. Hiya. Hiya. Rather him than me. over my head. So we can see him into the sun.
about to hit <coughs> the top of Constitution Hill, which is in Aberystwyth. Down the cardigan, turn it again and closed. Over there and looking out the cardigan bed. Still on Constitution Hill. Looking down the railway there. And you're thinking, what railway? Well, on Constitution Hill, there's a, a lift which uh, takes you to the top. Built specially for uh, tourists in Victorian times. It's been running ever since. Such a, a nice little walk up, actually, or down, as it is in my case. Here I am, back at the station, in Aberystwyth, and it's still only 20 to 6. Uh, I've had 20 minutes on the front, having a coffee at Aberystwyth on the sands there. So, uh, done really well, fantastic walk. The cliff, the cliff walk from Borth to Aberystwyth. Come down and do it, it's fantastic. Well, that's it. See you next time. Bye bye.